that, guys. Oh. We got the telescopic rod at my house. Let's go to the fishing hole. Plane in the background. All right, we made it to the fishing hole. Let's see if we can get them. I think they're mosquito fish, but not sure looks like it but either way this is the first time I've ever seen fish in here should probably put a weight on this but I'm stupid so Looking at it. Did you grab it? Got him. <laughs> oh yeah. Eastern mosquito fish. There we go. I don't really want to talk too loud because you know there's neighbors outside, but Eastern mosquito fish. Front yard fishing, let's get it. Uh, I'm just here at my closest uh, local pond. Let's see if I can get my first fish of 2021. Or get skunked. Definitely gotta watch out for snakes here though. A lot of snakes like chilling in these rocks. But I'm just gonna go with old reliable. A uh, little 1 16th ounce rooster tail. It's actually might be a 1 8th, I don't know. Small rooster tail. Already got a fish. Already. Oh, he came off. It was a bass. Son of a bitch. First cast. But yeah, that's as far as I can cast, and that's not too far. But it should be far enough. Oh, first fish of 2021. Oh, there we go. And. You know, you know who it is. Old bluegill. Spot right here on the soft dorsal. Vertical bars. Same old, same old. Let's get him back. Uh, should I throw him on the big side or throw him on the lower end side? Throwing him where we found him. Oh, that was a bass. A little bass came up and popped it, but just barely. The bass was a chunky little guy. He's definitely like maybe half a pound, but. Still want to get him, so we can get the the largemouth bass skunk off the board for this year. Oh, there we go! Largemouth bass. Try to flip him up here. There we go. Little guy. But we'll take it. There we go, little guy. A little large mouth. Oh, don't think you can see him. A little largey. 
Let's get him back. Uh, we found him on this side. Throwing him on this side. But when that bass fish, I don't really like going with large lures. Especially in a uh, pond like this. This pond is hit so hard. I'm extremely surprised that no one is here fishing it right now. Actually, there might be one person fishing it way over there. But as I was saying, um, in ponds that are fished heavily like this, I, I don't like the whole big presentation, 80 pound braid sort of thing people do. It can work, but, and it might work for people here, but every time I've fished here, and I've seen people throwing those big lures with big line, they don't catch anything. And so whenever you're in a spot that's highly pressured like this, you need to go fluorocarbon. I got like 12 pound fluorocarbon on and I'm using small presentation. That'll help you get a lot more bites and you'll catch big fish too. I caught a four or five pound bass out of here on a rooster tail smaller than this so small baits also catch big fish because those those bass and those fish are going to be hiding down in that vegetation waiting for something to go past them or above them holy shit and then we got no way did someone really do this Wow, this is very unfortunate. All right, so right here, I'm gonna touch it. I don't really know if I should touch it. This, damn it. This is a bowfin. Actually, yeah, I think it's a bowfin. Hmm. Actually, no, those teeth are... This is a huge bass. Holy shit. Yeah. Because there's no gular plate here. Um, both men have a gular plate on the underside of their chin, and they're the only fish with that. There's no gular plate here. Initially, I thought maybe it had just fallen off, but it's just not here. And these teeth, both men have much sharper teeth. This is like teeth that largemouth bass had. Not sure what those, those are called. But yeah, this is a fucking huge bass that someone just threw on the bank. Like, this is big. This is a big fish. Look, from my foot, if I stand the fish up, it's curled. If I stand the fish up, it goes all the way to my knee. And this is with its curled spine. This is a monster fish. This, this was probably an eight, an eight pound, 10 pound fish. Just on the bank here. That's sad. That sucks. But, I guess the gular plate could have fell off if it was a bow, if it was a bow fin. That fish is so long that it's hard for me to think that's a bass. It's really hard for me to think it's a bass. So maybe the gular plate did fall off. But either way, it sucks. Because it's either a big bass or a big bow fin. Like, and if it's a bass, that is a monster bass. So... But another thing that makes me think that might have been a uh, bowfin is a lot of people don't know the difference between bowfin and snakehead. And so they catch a bowfin and throw it on the bank because they think it's invasive. Which sucks. And it's stupid. Even in summer sometimes I see they... Oh, want it slow. Here's a fish. This might be a good fish. Oh, yeah. Here we go. We recording? Yeah, we are. Oh yeah, we got a little bass. 
not a big guy, but a little, little pounder. He hit hard though. Hey, he's, a, he's a pound and change actually. There we go. Right in the corner of the mouth. Okay, here we go. Just a little one pounder. All right, we're gonna get the release on this guy. I'm gonna just chuck him out a little past the weeds. I would do a cleaner release, but the, the weeds are so thick here, I have a fear that they'll just swim and get all stuck in them.